Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a top five, bottom five from my makeup empties. I have been saving my year long makeup empties and I have quite a bit of products to share with you guys. Um, that video will be up on the end of December, beginning of January, but as of right now, I want to do this top five, bottom five from those empties that I have finished off throughout the year. So if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I do upload three times a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. And let's just go ahead and jump right in. So I do want to give credit to Iwana. She was the one that uploaded this top five, bottom five makeup empties. And I thought it was such a great idea. She does a lot of project pan videos. Her YouTube channel is Chic Geek, I believe. And I don't think it's Chick Geek. It's Chic Geek, right? So <laughs> I really enjoy her channel because I'm super into project pans and she does quite a few of them. She's super sweet. So definitely go check her out if you guys have not checked her out. I will link her video in the description box so you guys can check it out. And yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into my top five, bottom five. Ooh, should we do top or bottom first? <laughs> um, let's see. Let's do top. So the first product, of course, if you guys watch my videos, you know that I love this Maybelline Fit Me powder. I have mine in the shade 10 Fair Light. It's a loose finishing powder. This looks beautiful on the skin. It's a great finishing powder to set your foundation. It's from the drugstore, super affordable. It makes your skin look really beautiful and airbrushed. They have like five or six shades to pick from as well. So I would definitely recommend it if you're eyeing it, if you're not sure, if you've heard it's good but you're still not sure, it's good. Pick it up. Next up, I have this Schwing Liquid Liner by The Balm. I love this liner. I got this on sale for $10. The Balm does do like 50% off um, randomly on their site, but this is what the applicator looks like. It's like a felt tip. It's really easy to apply and it's really, really opaque and also matte. I really like this liner. I don't have any backups of this. I just need this back in my makeup because honestly, it was one of the best liners I have tried. And for 10 bucks, like, cause regular price is 21, but again, with the 50% off sales for $10, definitely pick it up. Next up, an eyebrow pencil from the drugstore that I really like is this one by CoverGirl. This is the ultra fine brow pencil and I have mine in the shade rich brown so this is just kind of like a felt tip kind of like the ABH brow wiz um, it does also have a spoolie which is nice this is like the perfect consistency it's not too waxy nor too drying either it's like the perfect in between it's really pigmented it's not super pigmented where it's like ooh, be careful and it's not like not pigmented enough like other eyebrow pencils I've used. It's really good. I have a, an eyebrow pencil that's in my bottom five that I will mention soon, but this one's definitely a top five pick of mine that I've recently used this year. This CoverGirl brow pencil is definitely one that I have, I have repurchased this and I don't know if I have any in my backup drawer, but it's really nice. Next up, I really enjoyed this Becca First Light Priming Filter. I just have a little deluxe size and I also do have a full size that I picked up during the 21 Days of Beauty Steals, I think in springtime. And I, when I finished this, I had this in a project pen and when I finished this, I was like, oh, I definitely buy a full size. Um, I really like it. And then I was looking through my primers and I'm like, I have a full size right here. Like, girl, you already have it. And then I, I thought I had gotten rid of it, but I guess I didn't. So this is nice. It's really nice and hydrating and also um, adds some like luminosity to your skin. I think it's really good. Um, if you have like dry skin, you would really like this. I, I don't know if you have combo skin, I think you'd still kind of like it, but I think it's more, this would be more geared towards like normal drier skin. It's really nice and hydrating. And also again, it adds that luminous, a little bit of luminosity to your skin. I think it looks really pretty under foundation. Definitely a top pick. And then lastly, a top pick from my makeup empties this year is this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I have mine in the shade Light Medium. I do have a backup of this. I picked up Light Sand and Light Sand just seems like it's gonna be a little too light for me, but this is really nice. Full coverage concealer. It's amazing. You get a ton of product for $29, I think. I think it's really good. I'm sure everybody and their mama has tried this. 
we all love this concealer and I'm like really surprised I actually finished this um, also there's like a ton of product in here but this is definitely like a top pick for concealer because it just has the coverage that I need now on to my bottom five picks so the first product I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about a uh, a mascara because I have two so I'll start with the mascara and then I'll end with another mascara so the first mascara that I did not like is this covergirl peacock flare mascara and here's what the packaging looks like it's a really cool packaging but the wand is like this and I've poked myself a few times with it I just I didn't see a big difference with my lashes with when using this. I don't know. It's just not a favorite mascara of mine. I didn't really see volumizing, maybe lengthening, but like separating or anything like that. I didn't really see much. I don't know. I just didn't really enjoy this mascara, so I won't be repurchasing that. So the brow product that I was talking about that is definitely a bottom pick for me. Okay, I like it, but the only reason why I put it in the bottom portion of this video is because it goes by so fast this product is super creamy and it literally I kept notes and it literally took me two weeks to finish this like and it costs the same as any other uh, drugstore brow pencil um this is the LA girl shady slim brow pencil I have mine in the shade brunette so the tip is like the brow whiz and again you also do get a spoolie so I do like it I like the shade I like I like it but it only lasts like two weeks if you're using it every single day two weeks and you're done with this this one I think it lasts like three to four but this one goes by so fast that I'm like wow I just opened this last week and I'm already done with it like this goes by so fast I wonder if it has the same amount actually let's see I thought it was because it's so creamy but it may have less product I have no idea. The CoverGirl one doesn't say how much is in here. I'll probably have to look it up while I'm editing it and then I'll insert it or something. The LA Girl has 0.003 ounces, um, so 0 0.08 grams, but the CoverGirl one doesn't say, so I'll have to look it up. I might be that, but also this one's way more creamier, so I do like it, but it doesn't last as long. Next up, I have a eyelash glue. Everybody raves about this eyelash glue. And I decided to try it, but all I see, okay, yeah, my lashes stay on, but I feel like I have so much more lash glue in my lashes that I'm just like, I, I can't. <laughs> so I did finish it off, but this is the House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive. Um, I have the white one, and I believe I also have the black one in my empties as well. I decided to just pick one of them. I don't remember which one was the one that did it, maybe both, but I remember that I did have a whole bunch of lash glue residue on my lashes and it was super annoying. And actually, I really like the Kiss Lash Glue. That one's like, you can get it on sale for like $3 and it's really good. Um, I did makeup on my hair girl and she was like, that glue is really sticky. I was like, yeah, and it's only like, three to five dollars <laughs> but this one from house of lashes i think it's only nine dollars actually but the kiss one's really good um this one again it just i find it it's just gets really in my lashes and i don't Next like that bottom product is this bh cosmetics studio pro total coverage concealer it's funny because i used to love and rave about this concealer because i like full coverage concealers my under eyes don't play you know my under eye circles you can probably see this concealer that i have on my under eyes is just like in a project that i'm trying to finish off and it just doesn't do much for me and i didn't correct either so i i like i throw myself under the bus a lot of the time so anyways back to this product it has really good coverage but it looks super heavy on the under eyes and i think before when i raved about it, it was like two to three years I was a little younger, you know, like my under eyes are starting to get a little wrinkly. I am getting older and I just find that this looks like really heavy and I find that it ages my under eyes as well. It has super good coverage if you're young and you need a full coverage concealer, like pick this up. But I think it, the coverage is there. It just looks heavy on my under eyes now. I don't know. I liked it at one point, but right now I just feel like... It's a little too heavy looking on my under eyes. And then the last product I have here is another mascara. This is the Wander Beauty Unlashed 
volume and curl mascara so we got this from boxycharm a few months ago i don't like this um i felt like there wasn't that much product in here this is what the wand looks like it's a brush applicator it didn't do much for my lashes i did notice that it like separated my lashes but like for volumizing i didn't really see it it didn't coat my lashes really well and I didn't really like it. Like, I just felt like I kept, like, scraping the sides to be able to get something. And you could even... Wow, well, this has been empty for a while. But I would, like, scrape the sides of this. And I felt like I wouldn't really have much on my wand. So this is definitely something I wouldn't repurchase. Good thing I got it from BoxyCharm. But, like, I don't really purchase high-end mascaras unless they're on sale. Like, 50% off. Then at that point when they're 50% off, I'm like, okay, that's pretty much like a drugstore mascara price. So that's when I purchase high-end mascaras. Just a little tip if you guys wanted to save a little bit. So I think the drugstore has really good mascaras. So I don't feel like I need to buy high-end mascaras unless they're on sale. So... This one didn't do much for my lashes and I would, I would not recommend this. So those are all the products that are in my top five, bottom five makeup empties. What do you guys think? Do you guys love the products I mentioned? Do you hate them as well? Let me know down in the comment section below. Also, thank you so much, Iwana, for this idea. Definitely go check out her channel and let her know I sent you. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.